Hey, it's Alexis. So I want to share a trick that's really been helpful for me in changing my uh, mindset to getting me to look for abundance and look for good things in my life instead of um, just noticing the negative things. So this has helped with my money awareness. It's helped with my awareness of love in my life. It's helped with all sorts of things. It's super simple. So grab a catalog, any catalog that's come in the mail, Pottery Barn, whatever. I've got Bed Bath & Beyond here. Um, anything that's come in the mail. And here it is. And this is so simple. You're going to open to any page, so front page right here. And instead of thinking like we normally do, oh, what's wrong with that, or is that stupid, or would I like that, or whatever we normally think. So most of us are really critical. We're trained to be critical. We're trained to be um, analysis, like analysts. So we're, we're constantly looking for like how to make that better, or is that really useful, or is that really helpful, or why did they do it that way? And so we make fun of things. We get sarcastic. We get really critical. We get really analytical. So instead of that, we're going to break that habit and instead we're going to look for things that please us and make us happy. So we're going to start training our minds to only look for things that make us feel good. And this is so powerful. It's so powerful. So instead of looking around and being like all the things that your partner is doing wrong, all the things that suck about your boyfriend or girlfriend, like all the things that your friends never bother to do for you. Oh, sorry about the lighting. I was trying to show you the lake behind me. Um but it can't focus on me and the lake at the same time for some reason. Way to go, iPhone. So instead of doing any of that analysis, we're going to look at things that um, it, does, it does right. Actually, that was a great example. So instead of criticizing the iPhone, I'd be like, look how amazing it is that I can make a video. So here on this page, I'm going to look for one thing and one thing only that pleases me. I think that dog is hilarious. Like, he's so fuzzy hilarious. I'm going to love that. Awesome. Done. Next page, we got some bed linens. Um, let's see, bed linens, um, essential oil things, some knee brace. I'm going to think for one thing that pleases me, one thing that pleases me, these fabric are like all wobbly, they look like bubble wrap. I think that's awesome. That must be really comfortable for your head. Next page, Ellen. Ellen, I don't even have to look that far. How awesome is it that Ellen's just chilling with some pillows on this page? Love it. Love it. And that sheep, that sheep is really cool. Um, next page, okay, let's see what's going on here. Uh, something that pleases me. There's lots of things to be pleased by on this page. There is a tap on a watermelon. I personally, my analytical side comes out with that and says it's dumb. But this is a machine that takes the pits out of cherries. Who knew? Who knew that could even exist? For the person who invented this, two thumbs up. Thank you for making me smile today. Something I like on this page, I love all those colors. I'm really into the chakras and rainbow colors. Done. Done. I like that on this page. Something I like on this page, shrimp is my favorite food. Love shrimp. Thank you. Yummy. That's so delicious. Something I like on this page, um, I love the color yellow. It's one of my favorite colors, so that just makes me happy to see it. So I was not always like this, mind you. Um, something I like on this page that's all dog toys. Well, I love that combination of teal and yellow, so that's kind of cool. That's it. I don't have to do anything else. I'm just looking for things that please me. Here is an awesome page. This page with lounge chairs on it. You know, you might think lounge chairs have nothing to do with your life, um, but I'm going to look for something that pleases me about this page, and I am pleased by the shape of whatever these things are sticking out the ground. I don't even know what they are, but okay. I'm into it. I think that's really cool that they just stick around things in the ground. And then finally, last page, things that please me. Uh, water balloon filler that just looks really cool. Yeah, so that's it. So that's all I want you to do. I want you to find a catalog, and anytime you open a catalog, anytime you open anything, anytime you look around, I want you to find something that pleases you. Super simple task, but really, really powerful. It retrains your mind to look for things that are making you happy, which means that at any given moment, you're making yourself happier, and you're training yourself to look for the best, and that means you're going to get even more of the best. You're going to get all this stuff coming at you. So I know that was four minutes for a simple exercise, but I wanted to give you an example. Do it, do it, do it. Train yourself. It's hard because you're going to want to criticize. You're going to want to be like, that's stupid. I don't like anything on this page. What's there to like about carpet samples? Find something to like. Find something that makes you happy and pleases you about carpet samples. That's it. All right. Mwah.